first tonight, the latest on the storms moving through our area. Sheets of rain tonight at City Field in Queens, delaying the Foo Fighters concert, sending people running for cover. And quite a sight as the storm moved through. Look at this, the Manhattan skyline lit up by bolts of lightning. This was a scene on the FDR Drive. Floodwaters rising fast and making driving rough and led to some delays in the area. And lots of water in South Brunswick, New Jersey as well. Police there say all this rain led to flooding and caused some trees to come crashing down. A busy night weather-wise, no question, Chief Meteorologist Lee Goldberg timing out the storms and what's next. Lee. Well, that heat wave wasn't going to go without a fight, and those are some really impressive storms that came through. The good thing I can tell you is the severe risk is over as the storms continue to exit this evening, but not till we saw a lot of storm reports. That was the afternoon reports with trees down in the Hudson Valley. Then we had all types of flooding moving through during the evening hours with these heavy rains. Also some trees down in South Brunswick. There were flood rescues in Lodi and a gust over 60 miles an hour on the Connecticut coast in Rowayton. We had Doppler rainfall estimates of nearly five inches in parts of Sussex County. We had flash flood warnings there and one to three inches rain pretty widespread from New York City, North and West and even in parts of Long Island as well. And flood advisories actually just expired in New York City. We had some flood warnings as well. I was supposed to call it at 130, but that expired. Still some heavy rain from the city on north and east. So we still have a couple of hours there and some lightning LBI just some Stafford Township and over to Barnegat and severe storm are leaving Connecticut right now. So we still have a couple hours here of seeing some rainfall and the dry air is off to the west. That cold front will start coming through by tomorrow morning. So the showers, by the way, that are over Southern Ocean may clip the east end overnight. You wake up to clouds, maybe a little shower and the humidity still in the air. It'll take until afternoon. Start seeing that humidity drop. We're at 74 with rainfall. We're now below 90 and that's where we stay in the seven day air quality will continue to improve during the overnight. So some rain in the next couple of hours, a Leftover shower tomorrow morning. There's still a pesky shower south and east of New York City during the day, but for the most part, it's just clouds mixing with sun and humidity gradually lowering. You'll really drop as we go through tomorrow night, refreshing on Friday. So relief the next couple of days, and then it's just typical summer warmth and heat. We don't have any heat waves to tell you about now. Four day heat wave is now over, but we paid the price for it. More on that in the seven day active of the forecast in just a little bit. Bill and Chatty. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes, Lee. Thanks. And no surprise here with all this rain causing problems, big problems at our local airports. A ground stop has been issued for all three of them. The best advice, be sure to check with your airline before heading to the airport.